This is Miss Nishikawa. I'm going to show you today how to embed things like Nearpod or YouTube videos into an assignment or discussion so your students never have to leave Canvas. So here we are. We're on our home page. Um, I've changed a couple things around. I've started a page where uh, my students can see what they're going to do. I update this once a week. Uh, so that they have the links right here of what they need to do. But we're going to come over here to my modules. So I'm going to, in my module, for genetics, because I have not published this one yet. Open this up. I'm going to start a new assignment, so a new discussion, new topic. And this is going to be, uh, if I wanted to create a discussion for students on um, a YouTube video. So we're going to talk about Punnett squares. This is a Punnett square discussion. So for this discussion, what I want is them first to watch a video, but instead of them having to go outside of our um, outside of a canvas, I'm going to embed the video. So first thing I'm going to do is come over here to the video that I want. Um, if you come here to share on your video, here's the link. This is what most people do is they copy the link. However, if you want this to show up inside your assignment or discussion, you're gonna to come to here where it says embed. Don't let all this scare you, simply from our uh, greater than and less than symbols, you're going to copy all of this. So we've copied it. And then we're gonna come back over here. All right, you cannot, do not just paste. Do not do that, it's not gonna work. Right here, all these little things. This one's table. Next to table, it says insert or edit media. And click on that. There's general. You're gonna hit go to embed. And you're gonna paste that code. Click OK. And you're done. Now, when your students open up your discussion, here is the video. If you accidentally delete it like I just did, you can go back. and re-embed it. So above it, I'm going to say, please watch the video below and ask um, state three things you learned, two things you found interesting, that rock. And one thing you have a question about. I like to simplify things so it's very clear what my expectations are for my students. Um, especially with a lot of, I teach science, so I have a lot of uh, EC as well as uh, English language learners in my classes. So I try to make things simple. I want to allow threaded replies. I want to um, make it where users have to post before they can see. I do this a lot on my discussions where I'm looking for a response that is their personal response. I don't want them copying someone else's ideas. Uh, and that's where I really like to use this feature. And I'm going to make this a graded assignment. So since I have a three, two, one, I'm going to make this worth six points. 
So for each of those responses, the three, the two, and the one is where they will get a point. This is going to be an assignment. It's assigned to everyone. I say that this is going to be due, I think this is for the week after spring break, so we're going to make this due on the 13th. I will probably go back and change some of this up. So then you save. I don't publish because I'm not ready for it to be published yet. But this is what the assignment looks like. And if you look, you hit play, and it starts. And the video is right there. They don't ever have to leave the website. So we're going to go back to our modules. And I'm going to show you really quick how I do this with Nearpod as well. Uh, it's the same exact process. I'm going to do it as an assignment. And this is going to be Nearpod. And I'm going to actually be linking in our hereditary here, which I'll come back to that. Hereditary. Gonna edit. Again, we're gonna be embedding our link. Come over here to Nearpod. I'm gonna do a whole separate thing on Nearpod and how I use it, but for this, this is a student paced lesson. And then I click on this embed. I want it to be large, so I'm gonna copy that. Come back here. Paste it. Okay. It's embedded. There we go. Now we have our Nearpod. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy to handle. Uh, you might decide you don't want to do the large or do the medium or the small size. Uh, whatever works for you. And then hit save. I hope that's helpful in how you can embed videos or Nearpods. And pretty much you can also do this with uh, Google Docs. No, uh, not Google Docs, Word documents that are in OneDrive. In OneDrive, there is a place that you can share with an embedded link. Pretty much anything you want to embed, if it has this embed option, um, you will be able to do that into Canvas, which is really helpful for our students to not have to go to new websites and access different things. All right. I hope this is helpful. Hang in there. You will get the hang of this, I promise.